Here we go again. Scott Wessex, please. Thanks for joining. Just going live. Just written out an email after going through so many phone numbers in order to try and access somebody at UK Border Force in order to clarify um, something like this. Locator. It's got a locking mechanism on it. Um, and, you know, that's that's a well-known name, the Mercator. Some people may want in their collection to buy open I just want a Ganzo. Okay. And I only want to pay nine quid for it. So they'll be buying it on Banggood or Wish or whatever. And this is a cheap enough blade. Uh, I've got a locking blade rather than a Swiss Army blade. Um, I'll just bung it in my toolbox. Uh, all I keep seeing on Facebook is people are saying they're having visits from local police after UK Border Force has intercepted the parcel coming from Slowboat from China, um, opened up the blade, but because it's got the locking mechanism, um, I've not only stopped it going to whoever ordered it, but just probably destroyed it as well, and then contacting a local constabulary to give the person a visit to let them know they were such a bad threat to society uh, for ordering a non-legal and then basically giving them what for trying to sort of put the pressure on you to do a really bad thing there because it's non-locking you got to have a Swiss army knife like it's the UK legal thing um so we need to know what's going on because if what they're saying on top of it is that they're intercepting things that are coming through importation from overseas if you're not an oeie or something an official importer you've got this classification of something so let's say i don't know uh heine haynes obviously would be importing stuff officially as a distribution center um, Bob Smith, who wants a, a knife to chuck in his fishing tackle box so he can cut up his cheese when he has his cheese sandwiches whilst he's fishing, he, he just wants an eight quid ganzo. Chucks in his fishing tackle box. He's 58 years old and he's just sat on a fishing mate. And, oh, I better cut some up. They're basically saying, no, you can get away with cutting the cheese at home and having nail clippers for your bait line. Or your, do your leaders up or stuff. Nail clippers. I'm trying to get some information out of them. Um, because if, this is a, I'm not an official um, OEIE official importer, it's probably cheaper for me to get a ganzo locking knife if i was looking at making locking knives buying that or it arrives i'm taking it apart to see how the damn thing works and gives myself learning and those parts are cheaper than getting them from america well are they going to be stopping components coming through because it's knife making supplies what about custom folding knives what if you bought yourself a gavku and Mike Gavak made you a, uh, a one of his flipper um, designs, or or whatever his locking mechanisms, or a slip, or whatever, and they're intercepting that because it's come from overseas, and you're importing it, and you're not an official. Oh. What's brewing is is what I'm looking at, and since we've been there before with the post office, we've been there before with um, the. Uh, posted UK local addresses the last thing I want to do is see this thing slip by and nothing was done, nothing was said, no one raised a white flag or stuff, they're right above the parapet, here we go again um, so I rang so many phone numbers, and I got a list of them here and they all seem to be different phone numbers Yeah, so, uh, Andy, you don't, there's a case of someone who had a mora. Oh, yeah, a mora in there. That's a fixed knife. So, if anybody 
I mean, what about for a Sterkula? That Finnish company, is it from Finland? And you want to get yourself a Tarama Scrava? Are we not allowed to import them anymore? What if we wanted a handmade, proper Finnish uh, Puko with, with scrimshaw on it with, in an in a antler bone sheath? Is that going to get stopped now? Because we're not an official importer as a civilian. Um, so anyway, after all these phone numbers, I've um, wrote an email. And it's, basically, it's just complaintshomeoffice.gov.uk. Um, heading being civilian importation of budget, handmade and custom knives. Okay, so this is what it is. I shall copy and paste and stick it in the um, description box in a minute. But this is what I've written. Um, and then once I've copy and pasted it into stuff, you could literally copy and paste it yourself and slightly amend it, if that makes sense. Um, so it's complaints at homeoffice.gov.uk is the heading of the email. And I've put, Dear Sir Madam, I am a full-time custom knife maker creating bespoke tool and lever craft for bushcraft. Lever work for bushcraft. And the outdoors. And regularly purchase budget lock knives to disassemble, reverse engineer, to learn new ideas and techniques. And use the components, pivot pins, scales, liners, etc. However, recently I've heard from a few colleagues who collect knives as a hobby. Uh double check the spelling on that who collect knives as a hobby that their recent purchases have been stopped at customs and a visit was made to their home by local police up until now private ownership of locking folders I'll put in their fixed blades Because we like our Tarama Scrabblers, don't we? Uh, fixed blades is still, I thought, legal, as is used for a legitimate purpose outside of the home, such as work, deer stalking, game, foraging workshops, and other outdoor interests. The visit continually assured the purchaser of the long, non-legal nature of the item, and that it was destroyed, as the importation was not through a, and I to forgive my misspelling, the OEIO, some strange four-letter acronym thing that they're using for an official weapons importer or trade. Please could you point me in a direction of clarity regarding these interventions to the purchase delivery of such items, as many avid collectors who have no inviolent intentions of use with the knives and these blades were not specifically mentioned, like all the ninja-style ones, zombie ones, ballistic ones, flick, gravity-assisted open, that have been in the past. As knife users, we generally disdain lock, non-locking knives, such as the Swiss Army knife, as they are not as safe to use in some tasks. Some tasks. Due to the non-locking design. And we are unknowingly going to get a visit for ordering an £8 Chinese folder to bung in our toolbox. We would really appreciate a heads up on future legislation. So, so far, we have had no warning about and we will be blindly opening ourselves up for warnings, visits, embarrassment for such a mundane purchase. In addition, there are thousands of avid collectors who are passionate about handmade, custom folding and fixed knives. I'm going to put there, and fixed. You may be surprised to learn some people will spend thousands on bespoke, exotic and limited edition pieces made overseas by incredibly skilled makers. This whole region of the knife collecting industry would be threatened by extinction if these knives, in a region of a thousand pound and more, would be opened and destroyed at customs. I hope you can help me in this request. My kindest regards, Scott of Wessex Blades, local MP, Jacob Rees Mogg. Um, so, as I say, that's what I'm going to be sending to them. Um, I'll copy and paste it, put it in the uh, description box. If you're going to copy and paste it, obviously amend it, make it put in your own stuff, be polite. Um, and let's get some clarity on this, because if it's going to get to the point where we can't import anything, that means Mike Gavak's got to make a batch and send it to Heine Haynes. Okay, custom stuff has got to be going to um, 
the warehouse like Ronnie Sunshine's, you can't go to Versterkia. You couldn't purchase it through Mora. How how's this all gonna work? I don't know, and I mean knives. So something's going kook here. Um let you know how it goes out. Scott Wessex blades out. Here we go again. <laughs>